Okay, it's quarter past six in the morning. I've got my blanket here. I've switched my little heater off. We've had the central heating on this morning, thick frost. It was sort of 58. So we didn't have the heating on auto, but I've got a little heater here that's plug in. It's actually from the caravan um, because my smaller heater that I normally have in here has gone to my brother, um, obviously to help him out. Um, so I'll probably go into that in more detail, but you have actually seen it in our caravan. It gives us quite a bit of heat and um, it's a plug-in one. It was quite expensive, but there's quite a few different ones on the market. But I did say I was going to come on and do a chat, but I think things have come or filtered through um, during my videos and when I've been sorting and um, sharing things that have been going out. Yes previous years when i've been youtubing i have been saying oh this is my birthday my birthday's coming up i'm going to do this and having this and this is what i got for my birthday and i did get cards and everything and money and i appreciate it i got one gift which is here which i'm going to share with you but basically i told everybody i know it sounds harsh i've cancelled my birthday hubby sort of cancelled his christmas eve um because we cancelled everything because people were in hospital there was a lot of illness going around and everything i was going to do the generation game and think like that um but it's just how it has and my dinner party january didn't happen on the first because it was my mother-in-law's birthday mum's still in hospital i've got appointments backwards and forwards with my dad he's not in the best of health either and we're waiting to um, put my mom into a nursing home. Not sure if it's gonna be permanent or not um, because she needs a more of assessment. But because it's personal, I'm not gonna go into any more details, but I have been run ragged. I didn't upload yesterday. I have got stuff that I've sorted out and I've got a whole, um, fold I brought out last night and the guys just laughed and I said oh because we had um Miss Marple on although we'd seen it years ago this is not the um Joan Hickson one this is another one and um it was all to do with um instructions and things like that and how many of the leaflets what well, is the word obsolete so that I probably will video later and that will be put up t tomorrow. But it was one of those things. It's still getting rid of stuff. It's paper. And along with a few receipts um, that obviously I can just burn. But a lot of that can go in the recycle bin. Our recycle bin was absolutely chock-a-block. Um, and that went yesterday. Um, but I was out and about yesterday, hospital and everything. So, yeah, unfortunately... I could have done this last night, but then I um, had a bath, got dinner, guys are home, and actually I was in bed for about half eight, quarter to nine, and I was reading, and I was sort of knitting and nodding, my head was going. So I'm just filling you in. I know you're just sitting there, I lay there. I know you can just see a box, but this is what I had from my son, daughter-in-law, and granddaughter. And um, they thought it would be, it's my colour, my favourite colour. You know, I like the purples, the mauves and the lilac. And um, I've used a number of different things. And I'll go back to that in a moment. Because it is crafting. But it can be for anything. You know, it's back to organising. Um, they thought this would be nice in the caravan. Now, I'm estimating it it will fit possibly in one of my top cupboards because we brought everything home that's another reason why we're hoping health wise we get everybody sorted out because a matter of just about a month about four or five weeks our caravan season starts i know some sites are open all year round but we start beginning of March. So about the 10th of March, I think it is. So th that's another reason I'm aiming. And I am might, I'm thinking about organizing this. And I think judging it may go in my um, top cupboard where I keep um, other things. 
and I'll go I've got two mini craft bags down here plus I sorted that lilac bag out um, I keep certain things in the caravan but other times you know especially if there's a certain project or a certain card or cards I want to make then I take extra and as it gets through the year more and more stuff ends up staying in the caravan which doesn't matter I've got a bit in the wardrobe that I normally store the large things and then I've got two over the head um, cupboards that I put my bits and pieces in but I'm getting it to the stage that hopefully I can leave a certain amount in there and not a problem so this is what I had um, they he did apologize he said he, kn he knew that I didn't want anything um, but to tell you the truth I didn't thank him that well I did thank him but I didn't go into too much detail um, until probably evening time when I went through it which sounds really bad um, but it was the the day our car was going for its MOT, it didn't get far as the MOT because um, our son works in a garage and um, he did work experience for a garage around the corner where it was going for its MOT. He had a quiet word with them to see about the um, the corrosion. They said they could weld it, but it was going to be a hell of a lot of money and then there was no guarantee it was going to go for its MOT. So basically we were warned last January that the car, Silver Picasso was going to be scrapped. Looking at the outside and everything, it's immaculate. We've had it 12 plus years, but I know I keep going off topic, but I'm just filling you in. So this is the box. It came from, sorry, obviously I don't know any of the prices. It came from Hobbycraft. So I'm going to see if this would work. He he said he brought it to my craft room. Um, if I don't take it to the cab, and I'm going to try it it's one of those things i can lift up and take into the lounge if i don't want to sit here it's like i said i've got my blanket it's really cold this morning but this is the video i was supposed to have done yesterday um so this is why it's quite handy and as long as i keep it upright it's got all these compartments um to sort things out and they have put a selection of pieces in here this is why I'm going to share it this is the sort of thing I sort of do as well whether it's gift baskets or a box I put pieces in that I know that person would like and everything ticks the box so I've got <laughs> an owl pencil I know I've got rid of a lot of pencils but yeah and this lovely ruler so so I could, you know, sort of have stationery here, pens and that. Um, as you know, when anything comes into our home, I knew about this. So I did get rid of things already. You might have said, um, I might have said, oh, I got rid of my notelets. Yeah, well, look. You know, it was a lot bigger than this. So that is small. Normally I keep them in here, but that this probably won't fit unless I get rid of more. So, but it fits nicely, obviously, in here. Um, I've got this plaque. Um, what is a grandmother? Grandma, Nan, Nana, Mammy, and then it's got all the different ones. However you say it, it always means love. So there we are. So I probably will have that um, up there on my shelf because um, it's got a little stand look or I might put it down here briefly um, because I've got me love blocks at the moment for Valentine's Day but I'm definitely going to put that up somewhere so that is beside all this um, I've got um, mini glue dots which I get through a lot of these as I said everything in here I would actually use again there's 300 in there from Hobbycraft I've got some red ribbon. Um, they know I'm always using ribbon. And yes, hobby craft. <laughs> I must admit, I wouldn't actually necessarily buy stuff from hobby craft. The odd piece, and I used to look in clearance. I haven't been in this in about a year and a half now. I must admit. I've got these toppers. Hobby craft again. They're very pretty. This blue. And there's a pack of eight in there this is sort of like a haul really <laughs> because i say i'm not doing that much shopping um i've got these gems these are beautiful hobby craft again 
and then we've got these Unless it's otherwise, I think most of these are hobby craft. <laughs> and we've got these, because I know I love my card making. So this is really good because a lot of components are here for my, um, my mobile craft box or bag, whether I take it outside to the caravan or in the lounge. Um, and we've got these, these are beautiful. As I said, everything here I, I can see me using. I don't know if these were hobby craft. Um, they may be, I'm not sure. And they're butterflies in the silver. Um, I've got some packs of cards here for card making. There's four in here. In again, I said I do like these colours. And um, this pack of four with the cards and the envelopes. And I have got two packs of those. So again, for card making I've got these like they're like a type of postcard and um, so you could have that as a whole as a backing and cut it up and have it on your sort of card like that then I probably would have plain paper and maybe some sentiment or something on there with maybe under the parcel or you could even cut all these out so that's a good one and again this one the same you could use it as a backing and have it like that and then we've got a mermaid and a pirate i would say yeah pirate with a gift so again i probably again keep i think all this in here and then um, this is hobby craft as well. Got these wooden um, sort of flowers embellishments, especially as I am in the process of sorting out embellishments. And I know I keep mentioning Kaz, and I've just messaged her again this morning um, because I I've sorted out a lot of things. Some things I'm actually um, dumping that I've cut out. Other things I've put aside for a granddaughter who's five for any crafting and some I've asked Kaz about her daughter um, put some side there and then others I'm keeping I have actually I don't know if you can see I've got two boxes here one is actually Christmas embellishments one is ordinary um, everyday sort of card making embellishments but I've also got my drawer I have really got to um, think of a system but that's at a later date. I put like for like at the moment, as I've done for my craft room. I've now got these wooden owls, isn't they sweet? So. I've also got these birds. Wooden, I love the wooden things. And then I have got these flowers and it looks like they've got the adhesive yeah on the back which is handy but sometimes depending on how strong it is I sometimes put glue and what I like about these even the little one has got the adhesive on which is brilliant but most of these are a decent size I'm getting especially sometimes if my eyes are playing up or whatever you know some things look wonky <laughs> The next day or when I go back a few days later, I'm thinking, of course, I drunk, but obviously it depends on my eyes. But I do find it um, distressing and relaxing to actually do my crafting. And I'm sort of nattering and I do apologise. So it's quite a big compartment at the bottom. Um, so I've seen something very similar in a lot of places anyway. Um, but like I said I've got all these pieces so um, because it hopefully um, within about four or five weeks we're going to start caravanning again so I may actually leave most of this in there is a few components I probably would add in maybe some um, papers and everything maybe I'll cut some of them down so they can fit in here and try it and keep most of it in one box um if you're interested i can go into this one i've got it more organized i do have a little plastic basket that's got a very mini cutting machine in it's very tiny i only bought it i think it was something like 2.99 ridiculous price from the range 
um, but it only takes the very small die cuts and I tend to take that to the caravan as well so that's something that's got to go back so like I said I've got all these bits and pieces and I, I really do thank um, my family for it as I said everything I'm going to use anyway so um, I'm really happy with that um, like I said with decluttering they always find it very hard when it comes to even Christmas birthday and I do for first well not prefer because I didn't know about this I said I told them not to bother so it was a surprise um, but there was so much sorting out and I'm trying to be ruthless right this will be my job I think after the hospital today this is the bag that normally stays in the caravan do excuse because I personally haven't gone into it since the caravan so maybe it's not oh maybe it's not as bad as I thought it was but this was the original thing and this has worked out really well this is the one I keep in the caravan so I have got glue dots a number of different glues there um, in this one I tend to keep as I say um, some cards in there um, some embellishments you know for card making and everything this is the sort of thing I was going to send to Kaz for a daughter so she can make some cards um, but I'm just checking the age but there and some envelopes so that was my paper one um, but I say I might try the box then in this one I keep washi tape and um, got some rabbits in there that actually could be taken out because they'd be good for Easter um, not sure if I emptied some of this I think I emptied did have embellishments in there but this is an idea of a mobile craft bag because um, it's got all the components and I say I've got lots of washi tape and also this was handy for planning um, extras in there then although I did take the glue out and my pencil case I got a pair of scissors and a sharpener but usually I usually got me owl pencil case which I think yep it is I'll put it in there that's got usually pen pencil and everything but usually that goes in there like so so this is a handy craft bag I'm going to decide um, how I'm going to organise it but this is the one that I used to have in my um, top cupboard and that used to stay I was going to get rid of it and then I thought oh yeah mobile craft bag failing that I might turn it into yes I had this idea as well my planner organisation um, to put everything for my planner in here instead of the gold one because the gold one it's just it's done its job um, but everything's just rammed in and I thought when I do my planner you see I've got everything in there and along with my planner and I, I can get on with it that way so that's what I might do and then the one that did go backwards and forwards I said that was no cost in nothing's nothing I paid out for this one I still actually got me tag on I did buy from the charity shop a pound now this and it's not been used it's one of those I think for a rep um, do excuse it this is messy again it's not the sort of thing I it's disgusting isn't it I shoved them yeah I shoved it all under my desk I know briefly what's in there but this one is a major mess look <laughs> when we left from the caravan um yeah so again i have got some papers here these are from the frozen cards um different bits and pieces so this has got a lot of embellishments here again this is a not this has really been really good as a mobile um sort of bag this is the one that went backwards for us because i used to restock it with my cards i did have glue dots and everything in here but they all came out and i think i took I had little mini books in there um, those little Christmas ones but like I said I'm not sure oh here we are and then in, this is another zip one here look these sort of things this is the size book that also goes in that zip one um, I'm not sure that may not go in the 
box this probably will this sort of thing and also i've got that one i'm going to mention Anne again um she made this that i've been using that was a force to the hospital that's got all those embellishments in as well um but that one i don't tend to keep in the cavern i do take that one back and some forwards but yeah but these sort of things will keep in it's something that i've got to um work out but i do like all the different com um, compartments and um like i said this probably will be my job for later um after the hospital i think um knowing me i'll probably get sidetracked i'll put miss marple on which is what i've got in the routine of doing before i have my bath before i do dinner um i am doing still do my basics i do my 30 minute tidy up I mean, 10 item pick up um one lot of laundry but also a timer for five minutes but yesterday i did do 20 minutes of paper sorting because it's been a number of years since we've been through the cabinets so i think that's it so obviously this is going to be sorted that's going to be sorted and then i'm going to incorporate sorry about my squeaky chair and then i'm going to incorporate incorporate my new craft box so yeah i'm going to work this one out i've got three like i said the black one i think i'm going to use for planning not sure about this one and but see whether i can sort it out and see which system i want to use so hopefully you've enjoyed this video thanks for watching goodbye mm -hmm.